after a brush with burglars. An Australian scientist has developed a new technique to dust for fingerprints, creating a solution that makes fingerprints glow under black light. The home burglary has led to a scientific breakthrough that has the potential to overhaul more than a century of established forensic practice, changing the way police dust for fingerprints at a crime scene. When Australian scientist Dr. Kang Yang's home was robbed, police dusted his house for prints but failed to turn up any significant clues. But the process led Yang to question whether there was a more effective way to survey the crime scene, and his material science background soon produced an answer, fingerprints that glow. Working with a team of scientists at Australia's CSIRO research facility, Yang developed a liquid that can be applied to non-porous surfaces revealing glowing green fingerprints that appear under a black light in less than 30 seconds. The liquid contains metal organic framework MOF crystals that bind to the residue left behind in a fingerprint, including fatty acids, proteins, peptides and salts. According to CSIRO, these MOF crystals create an ultra-thin coating that's an exact replica of the pattern of the fingerprint, which can then be easily and clearly photographed for analysis. The colors of the glow can also be changed by altering the chemical makeup of the solution. After watching the traditional print dusting process play out in his own home, Yang says his new method is much quicker and can be used where conventional dusting is not appropriate. Knowing that dusting has been around for a long time, I was inspired to see how new innovative materials could be applied to create even better results, he said. While police and forensics experts use a range of different techniques, Sometimes in complex cases evidence needs to be sent off to a lab where heat and vacuum treatment is applied. Our method reduces these steps, and because it's done on the spot, a digital device could be used at the scene to capture images of the glowing prints to run through the database in real time. While the resulting glow prints might look like something out of a UV Rave Club or an episode of late 80s TV series Night Court the NOF crystals are cheap and react quickly to emit a bright light. They also don't create dust or fumes that police run the risk of inhaling. According to Yang, it's also the first time the crystals have been researched for forensics. The team is hoping to take their idea to law enforcement agencies to develop the technique for use in the field.